This aircraft was first shown in 1992. Thereafter, it was repeatedly demonstrated at various air shows. The armament arsenal was impressive. High precision guided rockets and bombs capable of hitting targets in the air, on the ground, and. This striking aircraft combines every function of a fighter, reconnaissance plane, a bomber, and attack aircraft. The route from inert attack aircraft of the mid-twenties to this wonder weapon of the end of the century was not easy. Frontline Aviation The Jet Strike The new frontline aircraft was identified as Su-34. Scientific achievements in aerodynamics allowed not to implement variable sweep wing on this aircraft. For better aerodynamic characteristics, it was equipped with additional front canard surfaces. This provided the aircraft with stability at all speeds and altitudes, in particular on critically low altitude. The characteristic feature of the integral scheme, almost ideal from the aerodynamic point of view, is its significant internal volume. They allow easy allocation of different equipment in the aircraft and increase its fuel reserve. More than that, the aircraft is equipped with the in-flight refueling system. The flight range amounts to 7,000 kilometers with one refueling. Such figures can already be attributed to long-range aviation. As to equipment, it is managed by several onboard computers. More capabilities brought more weight. Su-34 reaches 45 tons with the maximum combat weight. This led to improvement of the landing gear where the main undercarriage legs were equipped with two-wheel buggies. The cabin entry is unusual. It is located in the niche of the nose gear. The cabin itself is interesting. It is spacious, comfortable, with perfect visibility. Like in Su-24, the crew sits side by side. This facilitates pilots' interaction. Rest and food taking during a multi-hour flight is envisaged. Su-34 armament is impressive. Various missiles and bombs to destroy ground and sea targets. This arsenal includes air-to-air -air missiles capable of destroying highly maneuverable targets. From its predecessor, Su-27 fighter, this aircraft inherited wonderful piloting characteristics. If before the term fighter in the name of a striking aircraft was more a tradition rather than reality, now it was indeed a fighter bomber.
By the beginning of the 90s, when the aircraft was ready, Air Force already experienced difficulties in buying these machines. Promotion efforts brought some results. A decision to put it in production was taken. It was started in Novosibirsk. Simultaneously, all one-engine attack aircraft were decommissioned irrespective of their resource. MiG-27 and Su-17 were announced unreliable and were sent in custody. The way for Su-34 seemed to be clear. The Air Force could not remain without these striking aircraft. But those were the cloudy 90s. It was easy to decommission one type of aircraft. It became very hard to substitute it with another. 2008, the picture was the following. The most mass frontline aircraft in the Air Force of Russia today is Su-24. Gigantic capabilities of Su-24 designed in the heat of the Cold War have been optimized for the deep penetrations into the enemy's rear and are somewhat excessive for the battlefield. MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters can also attack ground forces, but they do this not as efficient as the specialized aircraft. The multipurpose Su-34 is so far in plans. Several aircraft have been given to the Lipetsk Training Center. Other machines have been thoroughly tested in the Air Force State Test Center. There, in mid-90s, Su-39 underwent tests. This aircraft is an all-weather modification of the Su-25 attack aircraft. Su-25 itself, a viable, unpretentious, well-armed, remains the main aircraft of direct ground forces support.